Hello everyone, welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I bring you further items that may help you to recreate the CST-100 mission that is about to carry two astronauts into orbit. And first of all is P.E.K.K.A.'s SLC-41 pad improvement that I'm attaching to my rocket previously introduced in the previous CST-100 video. Uh, there I linked the spacecraft and rocket. In this video, in the video description, I'll uh, link P.E.K.K.A's pad here, which is just meant to be, you know, serviceable. You're not gonna see for very long, it's just during launch. Uh, but it does have a retractable crew arm, and I've written the launch script to automatically retract the arm if you've got it on Action Group 5. Uh, I'm not gonna share the craft file, you guys need to put things together yourself. Uh, but, and that's probably for the best because I think you can probably pick better RL10s than I've picked and you pr should probably put separatrons on the first stage of the Atlas V. There are things you can do better, like also the fairing underneath the CSD-100. So yeah, anyway, there we go. So it's looking a lot better than without P.E.K.K.A's improvement and that's just a 7 megabyte pad, it's not a big... Uh, hefty mod and it'll eventually be part of P.E.K.K.A's main mod which will be on GitHub but P.E.K.K.A hasn't updated that yet so I'll link it just for just this pad portion in the video description so it'll be a 7 megabyte download also in the video description I will put the launch script so if you have things properly configured then you can use launch script to launch it and I've made improvements to the launch script uh, to make sure that the uh, little fairings at the bottom of the CSD-100 go off and there should be two fairings and also I've ensured that it stops short of orbit so the Centaur will stop short of orbit and then you'll have to complete orbit with Starliner's RCS as it would. So here we are with the end of the first stage so again Cipertrons here would be a good idea. Uh, and then here's the RL-10. The RL-10 I think the physical model, this might not be the exact variant of the RL-10 that they're using. I think this is more like what they would put on uh, SLS with the bigger nozzles, but I'm not sure. I haven't taken a particularly good look at the dual engine Centaur. There you go, the fairings at 5 minutes and 9 seconds as they're supposed to do. And you can see that we're at about 214 kilometers in apoapsis. It'll go down because Centaur doesn't have that much thrust weight ratio even with two engines and so it'll eventually have to pitch up and it'll lose a little bit of altitude but it won't get down to the I think 180 kilometer apoapsis that it's supposed to. Uh, this will end up a little bit higher than that and that's just because of the nature of the launch script. It was never meant to get that low. So it'll get to around somewhere between 190 and 210 is where it'll end up and darn it that's close enough for me <laughs> uh, I'm afraid that that's 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 all I'm going to do for that because the launch script is meant for regular missions not demonstration missions where just in case something goes wrong they want it to deorbit quickly so anyway here we go separating off the spacecraft and I just put a sort of block there at the top of the the adapter in order to close the gap that might not be the way you want to do things that's the way I did things and I checked out whether we could with the launch script giving us the time to apoapsis that we got manage to complete orbit with the RCS after all completing orbit with RCS is a difficult thing to do well time-consuming thing to do so did we have enough time well, the answer is yes. So, launch script should give you a little bit of time to apoapsis and that should be more than enough to make sure that you can use the RCS to complete orbit with a little bit of a pitch up. We've got a little bit of pitch up here. But that shouldn't be too bad. And so there you have it. Just a quick video introducing the pad improvements from P.E.K.K.A. and also my little script that you can use with KOS. So with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.